Okay, so you guys made some changes to the passing game from Penn State to Georgia Tech. It seemed like Kenny got into a better rhythm. Things were flowing. What did you notice that kind of was working better, I guess? I mean, I mean, day by day, as we, you feel me, grow better connections. Uh, not a lot changed. It was just that, you feel me, Kenny, he, he did a good job just looking at his reads, same plays we had scripted. I mean, coaches did a good job just breaking down the defense, seeing what was available, what was open to hit, different targets, getting to really understand the team he was going against, and those throws are open. Kenny uh, did a good job making them, reading, and uh, he put the ball where it needed to be, and I just made a play. You've had a lot of changes in the last nine or ten months, you changed schools. You go from being ineligible to eligible. First game here, you don't play a whole lot, maybe like 10 or 12 plays. And last couple of games, you're you're out there for you know most of the snaps on offense. Just has this been what you'd expected it would be three games in here now with Pitt in this offense? I, it was, I mean, being here is really a blessing. I mean, just uh, the ability to grow. I mean, yeah, the, it was a different the change. I mean, but everything positive has been happening since I came here in terms of just getting to know positive people, being around people that have been able to change, you know, my thought process of what could I possibly be in the future, being around guys that want to win and do big things, such as recent ACC championship. So, I mean, the best thing for me being here is really just the ability to grow. Like, I was able to grow through the season. We're growing as a team. You could tell from the first game to the second game, yeah, there's always going to be bumps in the road, but we grew through that to be successful in the third game. So we just got to follow it over to the next week. And has your role in the offense been pretty much what the, the coaches told you it would be when they were recruiting you and stuff like that? I mean, they didn't uh, promise me anything. They just told me I had a chance to come here, you know, be a, a playmaker, be able to do certain things, be a, a, you know, one of the people they depended on to, to make certain plays. You know, I came in here to a good group of receivers. I mean, I was talented. That uh, that knew what they wanted to do, and I just kind of joined into that family and just try to do everything at my best, just to like enhance what, what I could bring, and uh, just been trying to bring that to the team, to the offense, you know, in terms of mentality, personality, everything onto the field as well. Considering the, the uncertainty of your situation all summer, uh, are you encouraged that you're able to make an impact, or surprised you're able to, able to make an impact so quickly out in the third game? Uh, yes, I mean I was uh, I was definitely like you know. Proud of myself for just staying humble and keeping a, like a positive attitude because you know it's hard not knowing if you're going to be able to play if there's a chance. But you know having the people around that believed in me, all that did was trench over to the field. So you know like having the coaches believe in me that oh well, there's a chance. All you need is hope. That's what coaches tell me. All you need is hope. So I bring that into every practice. I bring that in every meeting and onto the field as well. This is obviously your first season here, but you know Pitt over the past five years when they've played Carolina, it's They've lost those five games by a combined 22 points. Um, what have guys on the team told you about Carolina? And do those losses seem to, you know, as close as they were, seem to kind of stay with them at all based on what you've talked to them? So. I mean, at the end of the day, we're, we're worrying about us. We're, we're trying to be the best we can be. So the result will show about it on the game. He tell, always tells us, don't watch the clock. Don't watch the scoreboard. Because at the end of the day, if you do your job, you do your assignment, then the game should handle itself. We, we speak about it, we understand what happened previous, but I know we have a special team here now and then we feel like we could accomplish some big things such as being in North Carolina. When you guys connect on a deep ball like you did against Georgia Tech, what does that do for the offense as a whole in terms of you know opening up other things and sort of keeping the defense honest? I mean, it just boosts everyone's confidence. You know, uh, it's good to make plays. People feel good in you. They want to take more shots. I mean, uh, it's just a good thing being on, you know, good connection. I mean, obviously getting a lot of yards. That's a whole bunch that comes with it. But it was just, you know, good play calling, good execution, and then we just gotta have more of that so we can be successful. Anything final for today's here?